Good morning, I'm Matt Sheehan. Here's a look at this morning's headlines. In a follow-up this morning, investigators have named the man killed after a shooting in Peoria late Tuesday night. The Peoria County Coroner identifying the man as 40-year-old Timothy Foreman Jr. from Peoria. Foreman was pronounced dead just before 12.30 a.m. Wednesday after first responders tried to resuscitate him. Late Tuesday night around 11.30, police responded near Knoxville Avenue and West Beverly Court for a shot spotter call of eight rounds. When officers got on scene, they found Foreman lying in the road with a gunshot wound. There is no suspect information at this time, and the case remains under investigation. The autopsy was planned for Wednesday. Also, an investigation into a deadly shooting steps away from Western Illinois University's campus in Macomb. The crime happened around 4.30 yesterday at an apartment near Lincoln and Washington Hall. A woman came forward to police as a witness. She says her ex-boyfriend, Dylan Lovato, unlocked the apartment door. According to her, he then shot a man laying in bed. Paramedics rushed that man to the hospital where he later died. She says after the shooting, Lovato drove off. Galesburg police found him sometime later and arrested him. Lovato is now in the McDonough County Jail pending criminal charges. Also, Peoria police arrested a man for weapon and battery charges. Tuesday at 6.30 p.m., members of the Police Department Special Investigations Division were conducting surveillance of a house on West Carmel for a wanted subject connected to a recent shooting. 24-year-old Treshawn Dillard was taken into custody. Police say on Sunday, Dillard allegedly saw his ex-girlfriend in a car with another person and fired a shot into the car. Officers say a woman was grazed in the arm and she refused to file charges. Dillard was arrested for multiple gun charges, including possession of a stolen handgun and aggravated battery. In the Twin Cities, the Bloomington Police Department is asking for the public's help to locate a wanted suspect. This man, 54-year-old Mark Bottles, is wanted on an active felony warrant in McLean County for meth delivery and possession. Police say he's about 5'7", 150 pounds, with brown hair and blue eyes. If you have any information on where he is, you are encouraged to call the number you can see at the top of your screens. Now, your local weather authority forecast. 26 in Pontiac on our Pontiac RV camera. Snow throughout the rest of today through Friday, then cold for the weekend before we warm up again next week. Don't go anywhere and we'll be right back. For updates on these stories and more, download the CI Proud to Go mobile app.